Okay, next thing I'm going to do is put my sleeping mat down. important in the winter to have one of these because it insulates the cold ground from you in your sleeping bag. Alright, next we'll put the uh, four piece modular sleeping system in. The sleep system has a like a desert tan on one side and a woodland camo on the other side. Since this is the side I'm going in and out of the tent, I'm going to have this side up because that's the side that has the open zipper on. The other side doesn't. One thing you want to always do when you're camping or you're in a bug out situation or whatever is always make sure things get put away. If you've got any food, water, whatever, that should always be kept in your, your bug out bag, your go bag, whatever. Um, if you're in the middle of the night, you're sleeping, whatever, you need to like get out of there, you need to bug out again, just grab this bag and go. It's going to suck leaving your shelter and sleep system behind, but if you're you know, bugging out for your life or whatever the situation may be, you need to get out of there, at least you'll have everything else with you in one bag you can just grab and go. Now this tent has another cover that goes over it with like a vestibule area where you can put stuff, keep stuff out of the tent but still under cover. So I'm going to get that cover out now and put that on. Go ahead and zip this up first.
Now, as I said, in the winter, you really can't put stakes down to hold the tent down. This, this cover that goes over this requires stakes to keep it in place. What I'm gonna do is get the stakes out, try to put these in the snow, the hard compact snow as deep as possible. And then I'm just gonna go around and pack snow around the perimeter of this cover to help it from keep, to keep wind from coming up underneath it and blowing it around and stuff. Untying stuff with gloves is not easy. I think I've got this turned around the wrong way, actually. There we go. better. So I'm just going to go around and try to stake this in the ground as, as best I can. I'm really only going to go in the ground so far, but All right, that's going to be pretty much it for that. Once again, you want to keep all your stuff kept together, not laying around. Now I'm just going to try to pack some snow around this thing a little bit. my doorway.
Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. That's, that's, uh, I'm gonna sleep in tonight. All right, so it's uh, about 11 p.m. right now. Uh, this is about normal time I would go to bed, so uh, I'm out here. Uh, the temps are dipping down into the single digits. Uh, it's not too bad out here. I'm dressed fairly warm, so I'm going to head off into the tent right now to go to bed. So here's, here's what I'm looking at right here. Inside of the tent at night. It's a little, little after 11 o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead and start heading in here and get in this tent. So I'm in the tent right now. All right, so uh, here is my, my main pack that I had. It's sitting in the vestibule area of my tent. And here you can see my feet still. I have my boots on. This is what the vestibule area looks like. There's, you can see there's still snow in it. And right here is my netting that I'm gonna zip up. We're gonna close this, this netting up here. And uh, I'll have my enclosure. So I just wanted you guys to get a, a real feel for what's going on here. Okay, I'm pretty happy right now. I've got my boots off and my tent sealed up. So now my next step is going to be to take my boots and put them inside my sleep system at the very far end to keep them warm. So when I wake up tomorrow morning, I'm not putting my feet into side something that is absolutely frozen. All right, so it's the next morning. It's uh, 6.30 a.m and uh, I'm getting up for the day. Uh, overall experience, I stayed warm enough. I wasn't extremely comfortable. I felt like I was up a lot during the night, um, but it was, it was all right. Uh, I think <clears throat> just being crowded, uh, this uh, sleep system is kind of tight, and I did have my, my winter boots down at the bottom of it, so that kind of made it even more crowded. So overall it was okay. Uh, like I said, definitely stayed warm enough, so no complaints there. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll go ahead and take this tent apart and put it all back together in my in my in my pack, and that's it. All right, so there you have it. Please like and share this video, and please subscribe to my channel. Once again, this is Scott with Forever Armed, reminding you to be ready for the moment. You must train for the moment.